Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about, is it possible she is interested in me and her ex, okay? So I'm going to answer a question from a viewer today and they asked, um, the girl I like always finds a way to talk to me, touches my arm, brings up odd conversations, makes eye contact, but posts on Instagram she is interested in her ex and she is still suffering. Is it possible she is interested in me and her ex? So yeah, it is possible that she could be interested in you and her ex at the same time. You know, we can, especially when we're not in a relationship, we can form attachments to multiple people because they're sort of low investment attachments. But obviously, if she was with her ex for a long time, then she probably has a very, well, she has more of an attachment to them, right? She has more of an emotional investment towards them. Um, because she's probably spent more time with them, they've spoken to each other more, she's probably spoken to more to the ex than to you, she's probably spent more time with the ex than you, so she probably has more feelings for the ex, but that still doesn't mean that she can't be interested in you. However, if, let's say, you do get with this girl and she's still suffering because of her ex, it's very likely that the relationship she has with you is going to be a rebound one, which um, is something you don't want to get into. So you may want to wait until she's got over the ex, but if you, the, unfortunately, the longer you wait with someone, sometimes it lowers the chances of you actually getting with them because um, the more you don't make a move, the more they see you as a friend. But obviously here it's a bit of a tricky one because you like them, but they're still, they're still hung up over their ex. So if it were me, then I would not try and pursue this girl because she isn't over her ex so the relationship she has with you will be a rebound one and um obviously that's not going to be very good for you okay because rebound relationships don't really last that w very long but the thing is is that if you're really interested in her and you ask her out and you, or you wait rather no so yeah if you wait and you don't ask her out and you wait for her to get over the ex then the more chances she's going to start seeing you as just a friend rather than someone romantic. Because the idea is, is when you start feeling attraction for a girl, the first thing you need to do is, you know, you need to st say your truth. Like if you, the moment you find a woman attractive and you would like to date her, you would like to know, get to know her better, you have to let that be known. You have to say to her, hey, look, you know, I think you're really cute or you might say something like hey you know what this is really random but I'd really like to get to know you better when you free to meet up and that's what you want to say you want to say that as soon as possible because the longer you dither and hesitate the more she's going to see you as a friend and not a romantic prospect okay so some of these signs though that you've said like she touches your arm she talks to you brings up old conversations makes eye contact some of these things could be mistaken for just friendship signs as well. So obviously, you know, obviously it depends how long you've been talking to this girl. If this sort of thing happened instantly within like the first week, then maybe she might have some sort of interest in you. But if you've known her for a while, then this could be just that she just finds you as a friend. Um, and she just th thinks of you as in, a, in a friendly way. So you need to be careful with that. But the best way to know, really, you know, if, if someone likes you in general, if someone is interested in you, the best thing to do is to ask them out, is to say, hey, you know what, this is a bit random, but I think you're really cute and I'd really love to get to know you better. When are you free to hang out? And that's what you want to say. And then you wait patiently for their response, okay? Don't send another message after that or give them time if you say this to them face to face to respond to you. And make sure you say it clearly as well. I remember once, even though obviously it didn't work out because I'm a lesbian, um, and I wasn't interested in dating him. But I remember once I had a friend who I went to university with and we were once waiting for a bus and he just blurted out. And I wasn't even sure what it was until later on when I kind of had to rethink, like, what did he say to me? But it sounded a hell of a lot like, do you want to go for a drink tonight? But he said it so fast and so quietly that I had no idea what it was until I was like thinking back on it, thinking, did he ask me to go out for a drink tonight? <laughs> like something like that. Um, he was a really good friend as well. Um, so it was a shame that he saw me in that way because it kind of ruined things. Um, 
so you know when you are speaking to a girl that you really like and you're asking her out be loud about it obviously don't shout it but be make make sure it's clear okay that's the point here um and then if she likes you obviously she'll want to see you she'll tell you when she's available if she is interested she will say yes to that she will agree to it and she will also show up right this is the it's the fail-proof way of knowing if a girl likes you. You might get rejected, but at least you'll have your answer. You might not get rejected, though. If your su suspicion is correct and she likes you, then she'll say yes. But like I said, I personally wouldn't pursue her if she's still hung up over her ex in this way. So asking her out is the most effective way of knowing if she really likes you. But because she is still hung up on her ex, personally, it's probably not a good idea because you could end up being the rebound okay and um, one of the reasons why rebound relationships rarely work is because the person who is going from one relationship into another who hasn't healed from that past relationship is um, going to be their emotions are going to be really raw when they enter this new relationship and often they're bringing old baggage from the past relationship into the new relationship so ultimately when you have a breakup with someone, you need some time, I always say minimum six months, sometimes it depends on how long you were with someone, so if you were with someone for 10 years, then you'll probably need about a year and a half to get over it, well not, you know, to, to heal from it at least, you may not ever get over it in some aspects, you'll always remember your ex for example, but um, the longer the relationship, the more time you'll need to heal and get over it. Whereas if she was just dating for like maybe like six months to a year, then maybe six months or a year is about as much as you'll need to have time to heal and get over it, okay? But when one person hasn't healed from a past relationship, like this girl isn't, she hasn't healed from it because she's posting on her Instagram about how sad she is about the breakup and how much she misses her ex. So if she's doing that, then she isn't there yet. She's not over it yet. Right, so therefore if she got into a relationship with you, it probably wouldn't end very well, there'll probably still be a lot of emotions in the mix, um, she might be, um, she might have a lot of old habits, so let's say for example, um, in her old relationship, this is just hypothetical obviously, I don't know who this girl is, but let's say hypothetically, when she was with her ex, they used to cheat on each other all the time. Right, and it was a way of getting back at each other, right? So when she enters a new relationship, she's still going to use that same tactic to upset you, right? If you've done something to, to piss her off or whatever it may be, it's very likely that she will use the same tactics she used on her ex to um, make you feel bad about yourself. And obviously cheating is a bit of an extreme example, but you sort of catch my drift there. But if she had time to get over it, to heal, to think about the relationship, to realise what she did right, what she did wrong, um, uh, you know, what she now wants in a new relationship, and she becomes clear on that, and she's had a bit of therapy if she really needed it, or she's done the inner work herself to get over it, then it's very likely that she will work through those issues and realise that's not what she wants in the future, because she's had that time to get over it and therefore the next relationship she enters will be a lot more healthy okay but again you know you don't want to wait around because the longer you wait with certain women the more likely it is that they're just going to keep you in friend zone but you don't want to wait around for a woman ever anyway okay even if you think they're the best even if you think that they're the bee's knees um you you, you could because at this current time you don't even know if she really likes you anyway so it's never a good idea to wait around for a woman who you're not even sure actually really likes you so like I said like I would if it was me I would cut my losses and focus my attention on meeting new girls and um, finding someone who is more receptive to me because at the moment you kind you two kind of have an incompatibility issue and the incompatibility is that she's not over her ex. Maybe it's one of those situations where it's the right person the wrong time. Like, it's the right person for you. Like, she's attracted to you, you're attracted to her. But unfortunately, it's the wrong time because she's still not over her ex. And that is a woman that you're incompatible with because she's not open to really being with someone new. 
And even if she was, it wouldn't be a good idea for you because you will be the rebound and you don't want to ever be in a relationship with a woman where it's a rebound because it rarely works out. It doesn't tend to work out very well. You need to be with someone who is already, in a way, whole and complete. And even though they may have things in their life that they would like to achieve and do, and they may not be happy with, let's say, their current circumstances, but they're at least happy with where they're going in life, that's the best sort of person to find. Someone who already has all their stuff in, in you know, um, you know, they have all of the things that they need in order and they feel quite content with their life because you don't want to be with someone that uh, that feels like getting into a relationship will make their life better, right? Or is they're using a relationship to make them feel more complete. They should already be complete. They should already be quite happy with what they're doing with their time, with their life. And if they're not, then there's not really much you can do, you know, it's, it's better to leave those people behind, right, the people that are confused and unsure about what they want to do, what they want to do with life, unsure of um, all sorts of different things, you know, so you want to be with someone who is a little bit more complete, a little bit more whole, and they see a relationship as a complement to their life, rather than something that's going to fix their life and make it all better and make everything work out, because if you rely so much of your happiness on a partner, on a husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, or being in a relationship in general, um, then you're going to be very, very, very disappointed because people are human, right? They're going to make mistakes, right? Your boyfriend is going to be, um, he's going to make mistakes. Your wife is going to make mistakes, okay? And they're going to be on, they're going to have an off day one day and, you know, that's going to make you feel really bad about yourself because, oh my God, they're not fulfilling my happiness because they're having an off day. You know, you've got to realise that we're all human and the person that you're with or the person that you're hoping to get with is going to make mistakes and they're probably going to say something one day that's going to make you feel crappy about yourself because that's just the way humans are. Okay, it's not going to happen all the time, hopefully, but it's going to happen and you have to be aware of that, right? You have to assume as well, you know, the person who you're with is uh, always going to be that way as well. And that's something that I say um, quite often when it comes to uh, when you're dating someone and you start noticing red flags about them. You know, let's say uh, they mention like, oh, I, uh, I've cheated on everyone that I've ever been with. That's a red flag right there. And you have to assume that this person is always going to be how they are that you have to assume that they're never going to change because there's a ch high chance that they're not. And it's very naive and a bit egotistical to think that you can change someone, okay? So when it comes to this girl, I'll personally leave it. Yes, it is possible that she can like you and your ex at the same time, but the thing is you don't know if she likes you and is interested in you until you ask her out. But I wouldn't recommend that you do ask her out. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com. And if you'd like me to answer a question in a different video, then uh, please leave them down in the comments and I will do them as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.